What we have here is the Auto Sports Engineering, the UZ version of our uh, CD09 conversion kit. Uh, it comes with our billet flywheel, a nice beefy piece, uh, steel ring gear. These are actually pretty hard to come by. That's probably the reason you don't see a lot of these actually being made out there on the market. We try to get them as soon as the manufacturers can get them out there um, so that we can always uh, deliver kits in about a, at, at the longest, like three to four weeks. Sometimes we can get them out between one to two. Uh, now the flywheel, what's special about our particular flywheels, all of our flywheels we built to be a hybrid where basically they'll mate to your motor, but instead of having to mix and match combinations of different year pressure plates with a different model altogether, clutch this and uh, hodgepodge with a different flywheel to get a complete clutch flywheel combo to work, we actually make flywheels with a proper height that use CD09 clutches. That's right, all of our flywheels that we make allow you to bolt up a standard 350, uh, 370Z, or G35, G37 clutch kit. Now a lot of guys say, oh well, they think that the 370 is different. The clutch kits are identical. The only difference between them is gonna be the release bearing that's supplied in the kit from the manufacturers, because obviously the variance within the height uh, Nissan corrected with a different release bearing, but as far as the pressure plate and this, they are interchangeable. So it doesn't matter which one you buy, and since you're not using a factor release bearing with this combination, it doesn't really matter which clutch you buy. Some manufacturers charge more for the 350 clutch and charge less for a 370. So in those cases, you can just buy the 370, save yourself a few bucks, and move on with it. Now, we have uh, alignment dowels. We use all Fidanza friction pad surface. Uh, all of the CD09 friction pads are all 10 inch on the OD and they are 6 inch on the ID. The part number for that is 221001. Standard friction pad, so if you ever need one, you never have to call us back. You can buy from any Fidanza dealer or call Fidanza themselves directly. Uh, we do stock them if you need them, but like I said, if you're in a rush and you have someone that has one closer to you, we like to use components and let you know what components they are so that you don't have to always come back to us. Because like I said, we ship a lot of stuff worldwide and across the country and sometimes it's more convenient for a replacement component for you to just get it locally. It's also faster. Now the second component of the UZ conversion kit is going to be our billet aluminum uh, adapter plate. This allows you to repurpose your A340 style Toyota UZ bell housing that you should already have or are in the process of locating. Um, it's simple, it mounts to the maiden surface where you remove the faceplate off of the JK or the CD09. Uh, this will work with the JK found in the newer 370 and G37 transmissions as well as the older CD transmissions. Uh, you're gonna use a T56 slave cylinder from a 99 Camaro you know, 99-2000 T56 from a V8. Uh, we provide those or you can purchase them separately locally, that's up to you. We also provide the clutch line kits that'll help a lot of you guys out with the install. Um, it's a pretty simple, straightforward install. We actually have another video that shows you how to install these plates onto the JK that, uh, that was typically for the 2JZ, but it's the same installation process. So you can use that video to guide you through the install as well. Um, but it's a billet aluminum piece, 6061, all made in-house. Uh, logos are laser etched. The one thing that a lot of guys like is we actually went through and did the effort, the torque specs for the countersunk bolts as well as the bell housing bolts are laser hard engraved onto the plate, as well as your serial number and revision of the plate. Now, the reason we have a revision is we kind of track within uh, the company exactly the major changes to a design which lets us know uh, what you have because if you have any questions you email us we can ask you hey you know check the logo uh, which revision do you have and we can tell you hey you know this might be an issue this was fixed later on it's really helpful for the guys that are trying to buy used kits that are out there um, because there shouldn't be that many anyway because anybody that had a problem we probably already swapped that out a couple years back 
but it's real helpful for us to help you guys figure out what needs to be done to get a proper install, even if you have an earlier version of one of our components. Um, these do carry a little bit longer lead time than the Jay-Z's because the starter ring gears are a little bit harder to locate. We try to purchase as many of them. It's a gain in popularity right now, so um, a lot of competitors have dropped out on making that. Uh, they, that's why a lot of them use mix and match as far as doing stuff with the flywheel. We've held steadfast with maintaining the use of our hybrid flywheel. It makes for a much easier install. The torque capacity on the CD trans or the CD transmission using the CD clutch is pretty high. It's easy you can get a seven to 750 foot pound of torque on a single disc clutch using this combo. You're not gonna get that with any of the other mix and match stuff that the guys are using that are out there. You're gonna use a Tacoma this, whatever, Toyota 3S. It's this in my opinion, not because this is what we make and we offer, but there's a reason why we do this because the CD clutch is a 10 inch diameter clutch, just like a V160. And we all know how much torque capacity a 10 inch clutch is capable of holding. So there's no point to go any other option especially at the price point that we offer the flywheel for, it's to me the best bang for the buck.